Selena Matri Papurium berries. I've harvested them. Let's see what they look like, shall we? So, I have five berries here from the Selena Matri Papurium uh, single seed challenge plant that I have grown. The plant itself is, uh, I'd say, I don't know, 100 feet behind the camera or so, and uh, looks good. However, today, I'm not talking about the plant, I'm talking about the berries. Now, these are in this container because I wanted to see, I wanted to perform like a little bit of an experiment, basically. Um, these were covered in a oily, tacky substance that was very, very sticky. Uh, I think against certain textures, I don't like sticky. So I rinsed them off, and I wanted to know if after a few days or so that uh, coating would reappear. So these are rinsed. I rinsed them, I don't know, five days ago or so. And uh, we're going to see, first of all, is that coating still there? No. So, okay, since there is no coating now, I'm just going to flip this lid over. Since there is no coating, that makes this a little easier. Stop flying around. Okay. I will say, uh, this container had a very unpleasant smell, like, almost like bleach. Again, <laughs> don't do that. Anyway, uh, toxic, as a reminder. So I have five of these here. We're going to cut them open, see what they're like on the inside. So they look almost like little tiny pumpkins. You see that? They have the striations across them, like they're... I'm not aiming this correctly. Hopefully the camera is doing what it needs to do, because I can't actually see it. All right. <clears throat> Let's cut this open. Ah, this is why I have gloves. I can already tell this is not going to work. Well, maybe it'll work. <laughs> um <sighs> I don't think this is going to quite work the way I want. It's smashing my hand together. Um okay, so We'll just do this with the one glove, I think. <laughs> eh. No. Ah, it's pulling the hair out. Ow. Okay. Gloves. Um, good idea. This didn't work in practice. All right. <clears throat> I'll just have to remember to wash my hands. Now, um, double reminder, berries are toxic. These berries are toxic. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's not the sharpest knife, but the berries split like it's hard, not like it's soft on the inside. Oh, look at that. All right. I'll bring one of these closer to the camera, just so you can see. This is what one of the berries looks like right here. Like the size of a blueberry, kind of. Not at all blueberry-like, and also, uh, don't you? So, <clears throat> this, that is what the seeds look like. Yeah, that's interesting. Are they sticky? They have a little bit of a coating on them, like a tomato would. So, uh, I think we're going to need to ferment these in order for them to be useful. It just so happens that my previous video was about this process. How fortunate. All right. We'll try it. I'm going to reuse the same container. I'll put a link to that video in case you're curious about how it's done, but you're going to see me do the first portion of it here anyway, so... I'm just going to take these seeds, and I'm going to put them in here. 
to see if this works. That works. Okay, cool. If for some reason you're doing this yourself with Selena Matriparium, I don't know why it would be, but if you are, um, do it this way with the just put the water in the container and then squish them out in there, and uh, that works way better. Yeah, though this is a plant closely related to tomatoes. Um, the inside is very non-tomato-like. Inside of the berries, I mean. Nope, there's one that uh, stuck to my hand. I didn't even notice. Okay. Cool. I'm going to try to pick some of the bits of the berry itself out. Just because we have a few of those floating around. Well, that's definitely easier than tomatoes. All right. Why did that foam? Huh. Interesting. I had thought that the tech, the stuff that felt like it was on the berries had an almost soap-like consistency. So I have to wonder if maybe there's a, a reason that it felt that way and that that might be part of the reason why this is foaming slightly. When shaken, that's because normally if you shake something like this, it shouldn't make, shouldn't make bubbles like you put dish soap in it, you know what I mean? But this did. So that's interesting. Since it's doing that, I might give this a really good shake. And then... No. No. This is an experiment. So, since this is an experiment, I am going to now label this. Take it inside. Put it with the others. And uh, we will check on this in a couple of weeks. If this works, then I will try to germinate uh, a subset of these to see what the germination rate is and if the germination rate is I'd say over 50% or so then I think that this is, it is successful and that we have then grown the plant from seed to seed you know from viable seed to viable seed and uh, it will have completed its life cycle in this zone since you know it's not native so and also not cold hardy here at all <laughs> okay anyways hope that was interesting thanks for watching until we talk again i'm really beginning to hate audio and microphones in general i have nothing but problems with them okay <laughs> some of you might recognize this outfit from my previous video that's because it's the same day Okay, so today we are going to talk about... No. I think these are my wife's gloves because they don't fit me. Eh, nope, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even get my hand in the glove all the way. Well, all right. Eh, maybe this will work. I don't think so, but eh. it could be because the humidity level is so high outside. Um, honestly, like, like there's my tip of my pinky though. <laughs> so this is what one of the berries looks like. Stop that. I'm getting the seeds everywhere but in the container. That's great.
My hand feels weird. And I'm out of water. Which makes sense, because that water wasn't even for this. Cool. 